so tonight we're going to be working with two girls from the North Cheshire Pony Club uh, who I've been lucky enough to meet just 30 minutes ago and uh, they brought their horses in to get familiar with these facilities before the people start to turn up and I think we're going to keep things basic in general I think the the main uh, idea of me being here is not to try and confuse uh, anybody or to try and be too clever with what we're doing I, I believe that the basics in the flat work and the riders position is very important with uh, show jumping so I'll be looking to work a lot with rider position approach before and after the fence and then maybe as we progress on through the lesson I'll look to find out what those two riders have specifically as faults and then try and work with them so that they get something out of the lesson as opposed to me just coming with a, a set plan uh, from start to finish and hopefully the idea is that they have fun uh, and it's fun and entertaining for everybody else but also it's it's educational and it's not too technical that uh, we have too many questions at the end that people didn't understand. It's not important to jump the biggest we've ever jumped today. It's not the idea. I'd rather even jump this. I train my horses, the horses that I take to Olympia, for instance, at Christmas. The horse uh, Triple X, my best horse, and things they would rarely jump bigger than meter twenty, meter twenty-five at home before they go to a big show. They don't see big jumps at all. We train everything over the small jumps, keep them confident. Uh, Working always on control and the shape of the jump. It's very rare I actually jump big jumps at home. Put everything together. What, what we're looking for is jumping straight. I want good body position. Uh, good body position from you. Keep your body nice and tall. Always look where you're going early around the course and at the same rhythm, start to finish. So make a circle. You've been walking around now before you when you go in the ring, you should make a circle before you start. Nice canter. And get the rhythm set before you get to number one. And that should stay the same from start to finish. Okay. Perfect. That's okay. Don't look down at the jump. Look up. Okay? Always look up to the next fence. Sit nice and tall, and when you jump this vertical, look at the oxer. Look up. Much better. You look down again at the parallel. Keep, your, keep looking up. Keep your head up. When you jump that vertical, look up. And when you jump the parallel this time, look up to the mirror at the end. You don't want to look down at the jump. When you look down, your body automatically is going to crouch over a little bit and the horse is going to land, he's going to try and grab the ground quicker. One, two, three, four, five. Look up, look up, look up. Good, much better. It was like absolutely amazing. We learnt like so much. Yeah. And he had some really like amazing tips and I would have never thought of like some of the things he was telling me to do and the things that he was saying sort of made sense in their own way and um, after the fence like my pony he seems to get like very long in his canter and Ben was saying instead of trying to pull him up and stop him he was saying ride him forward and ride him like into an uphill canter and instead of pulling him up it sort of worked because it sort of made him more confident in his like in his canter and going into a fence that really helps because it means I'm not messing with him and he can just do it in his own stride. Okay, yeah so really similar, um, I learned especially when I'm like going into a related distance or a double or something just to leave him to it and let him jump the jump and also if I am a bit off a fence or I'm a bit too close or something then I, I learned like that you know hold if you're too long or push if you're too short or really just how to change your stride and just let it come naturally rather than like worrying about anything or so just let him jump the jump yeah, rather than faffing or whatever um, else. So. I've jumped a lot bigger than I would have thought that I would have because I've never really jumped that big show jumping but it shows me that when I'm using like his tips and how he says to ride it she can do like absolutely anything and she she doesn't like seem to shy away 
Yeah, so I'm probably like sort of the opposite really, like at home um, I sort of whack the fences up and then I get to a show and think oh these are tiny or whatever so like at home I could jump sort of 120 or something and then like at a show they're like 90 centimetres a metre so I'm thinking oh yeah really easy but um, Ben said today like you're probably best just keeping them small at home and then sort of not putting them off, not frightening them or anything and just then you get to the show and you're able then to push a bit more and get a bit more out of them rather than scare them or anything at home. I so. think the important thing is if, they, if you learn one thing from today then it's worth learning. I, I, don't, I learn all the time from different people every day and uh, it's hard to keep it going, keep it entertaining for a period of two or three hours but um, hopefully we did that and people can take home what they will from it, whether it be work hard or whether it be uh, working on something that they find hard with their riding. Um, hopefully we covered a wide aspect of all areas and it, somebody, everybody can take one thing home from that.